Hello everyone, this is CM Vevel. I'm back again for another beautiful episode. This is Houston, Texas. It is cold out here, guys. It is like 27. Uh, actually, it's gonna be 27 tonight, but it's cold right now. It's really cold and it's windy at the same time. But, uh, you know, I feel like I live in the city. Why not just, you know, take you guys along and show you guys the Houston NASA Space Center. The Space Center is beautiful. I've actually been to this place before, but I never really went inside. But uh, this time, actually, going, going in there, and explore so I'm gonna take you guys along with me quickly quickly I just want to say um, hope you guys are preparing so well because Christmas is almost here again I also want to thank my subscribers I appreciate you guys I love everything that you guys are you know saying and also I want to thanks I want to thank the haters I love you guys too you know I appreciate you guys you know I ain't mad at you guys I love everything that you guys are saying you know it's all good and at the same time I also want to quickly say that if you haven't subscribed to my channel already let's take the time to do so and when you do subscribe please make sure to hit on all bell notification click all notification make sure you hit on that so that whenever I post new videos you'll be the first to always receive my alert in respect to any new videos so stay tuned and I'm gonna take you guys along with me EM Vebra Okay. Yeah. So you guys will not believe it. It's really cold out here. But uh you guys are not here, so you probably will not understand what I'm trying to express. It's 27. I said it's gonna be 27 tonight, but I feel like it's already 27 because it's super cold. And uh I'm right here, you guys can see I'm about to show you guys something. The massive 747 Boeing carrier that a space shuttle was you know kind of uh you know seated on, on pawn and uh this is it right here take a look Man, this is one massive piece of engineering. Looking at something like this, it makes me kind of like wonder. I appreciate humans for the beautiful things they've done. And I'm not gonna lie, God Almighty is real. I don't know what your belief system might uh, be based on, but I can tell you for a fact that God Almighty is real. Because looking at stuff like this, when you look at stuff like this, it makes you wonder how on earth was it possible that humans were able to manufacture this beautiful piece of engineering this is one massive uh, you know work and because of this humans can actually access a whole lot of different you know scientific realms different uh, planets and this is the United States guys the independence is seated on see that on the 747 Boeing massive you know with a Rolls Royce engine man that's massive look at this Rolls Royce engine let me zoom in this is one massive piece of engineering guys this alone makes me believe that God exists because think about it guys if it wasn't for God I don't think humans would have been able to even acquire the knowledge in the first place to even think of manufacturing something like this it is God that gave us the knowledge but well I'm just gonna leave that preaching for like another video you know but here I'm here guys I'm here at the Houston Space Center and this one beautiful experience and I'm just I'm just here taking you guys along I'm actually gonna go inside I think it costs like $29 to pay to go in I'll park my car for like 
five dollars. No, not much. So everything is probably gonna cost more. It's not. It's not a lot, but I love it. So I'm already loving this experience, guys. Let's get going. I was so amazed when I first got in. The ceiling and everything, the technology, everything was so beautiful. I was just looking and I was kind of acting like a kid, you know, because I did not know what to explore at first. The whole scene was just like everything that, you know, we saw in the movie. The Space Center is beautiful, guys. I wish you guys were here to actually experience it for yourself. You know, uh, this video, I hope it does justice, but this place is one superb place to have a good experience. So, guys, I was happy the whole time. As you can see in the video, I was so excited. right here yeah. actually called solar power I think this is like where to get the energy electricity from whenever the shuttles are out of the planets of the E so they basically rely on one of these perhaps one of those and you guys can see in the description right here beautiful one my one mighty uh, colossal piece of engineering right here and this actually just so adorable you know I appreciate humans for this wonderful invention you know science is beautiful but at the same time I just feel like if it wasn't for God Almighty all of these all of these would not have been possible to start with the lightning is not really cool but I'm trying to shoot with a GoPro and I'm trying to also shoot with like a Sony Alpha A5100. Here I think this is like a telescope that you can actually use though. I don't know if this one is from like, I'm not sure if this is from like the actual shuttle that went to space. You know, I don't know if they actually used this one when they went to space, but uh, it is a te uh, telescope. You know, you can actually see right here. This is a telescope that you can use to look and see out of space. Is this like a game? Okay. Look at this beautiful light. Look at this. Apollo Soyuz was like a Russian mission a space mission for like a russian in the apollo it's actually for like the americans you know because the space mission like the both countries the russian and the united states you know, russia had the name of their space mission it was known as the soyuz you guys can check it soyuz 1 soyuz 11 you can read more about that then for like the United States, it was known as the Apollo. So that's why you guys can see out here, it's known as Apollo Soyuz. That is because at a point in time, the United States and Russia actually, they came together to work together, you know, just to accomplish, you know, a better tomorrow when it comes to, you know, exploring space, and knowing so much about space so you guys can read more about that you know I read it before and you know, I really loved it and I enjoyed it so it's beautiful man it's beautiful these are like you know some of like those uh, shoes that they wore while they were out there and that's why on here it says Skylab boots boots like these were worn during Skylab missions these boots offered a more comfortable alternative to the 
was that uh, cleated sneakers used to secure the astronauts, astronauts in place. Beautiful. So, different medals from like 1998 to like 2011. Beautiful, beautiful medals out here. Right here, this is history. This is beautiful history right here, JFK. From JFK to Lita Bean Johnson. And I uh, think the civil right, civil right uh, movement. And uh, during that same time, I think the mission for space was, was on, you know. I think the competition between the United States Russia was like it was on and the both countries were like competing you know for the race to go to space so you guys can also check out the Russian uh, Soyuz, Soyuz 11 like I previously stated in this video and also the United States beautiful right here it's Apollo White Chrism, what's that? Shafi Apollo One. Command module pilot Richard Gordon and I'll be Ellen Lee and Mark Tom and That was the second one. And then Apollo 13. This is exactly how it looks like out there. When you're actually out there experiencing what it looks like to be, you know, out of planet Earth, that's like a space vehicle. This is beautiful, man. Beautiful right here. Man, I think you guys should actually come out here and, and see for yourself. So, guys, the tire, the tires of this massive space uh, vehicle. Was actually made out of wires you know strong wires they could not put no hair tire because they, they don't have no pressure on the moon so they decided to just you know make the tires out of wires strong wires guys this is beautiful So guys, this is like a command module that the astronauts would have to actually sit in when they when they are returning back to Mother Earth after they must have finished their mission on Mars. So this is beautiful guys. Absolutely beautiful.
Australia mission for these purposes. It's one of the strangest sights in all of aviation. A 747 airliner piggybacking a 165,000 pound space shuttle. Who dreamed up this remarkable partnership of an airplane and an orbiter? We've been happy that that's all we have accomplished, but uh, it worked probably better, better than most of us realized it was going to. We established the beachhead with the space Appreciate shuttle. guys, I was actually trying to show you guys the actual space shuttle. Remember, the space shuttle was seated on top of the 747. I actually went into the 747 previously, and now I just decided to go inside the shuttle and I was also trying to show you guys and I was climbing on the stairs trying to show you how inside the actual shuttle looks like. This is like the actual shuttle that went to space. I, we were seated, you know, on this long tram tour vehicle and there were a lot of tourists. Uh, I did not realize it at first, but a lot of them were, I think they were from Europe or something like that. And we were all in this place trying to, uh, we visited the Linda B. Johnson Space Center. This is like the actual space center, guys. This is where the real thing takes place in Houston, Texas. This is like the real government official building. The previous building I was in, that was like a space center for like tourists, you know, tourism. But this is like the real one. And after that, we left and we went to the second building. It was building number nine. This is like the real place, guys. The re-government high top security place. Man, this is where they have the shuttle. Uh, everything is like being built. This is like they have the whole uh, mechanisms and a whole lot of uh, modules, a whole lot of command uh, stations. Man, this is like a top security place, guys. I could not believe my eyes. I was loving it. I was so impressed and also Top right there, that's like a portion of main space solely landing command. That is the command for the road for the Russian uh, made. And uh, we were being told, and I already knew about that before, and I was so intrigued that I was able to see all these, all of these uh, beautiful things today. And in here, guys, don't forget, this is the United States, man. I love everything that I saw. Everything was beautiful. I was so impressed. I was like, man, I'm feeling so happy. And then we left that building to a different building that was more, uh, you know, it was more equipped with like the re thing. Again, this is like the re thing. This is like the re, you know, you know, when you talk about spacecraft, space technology, everything. This was like the re experience right here. So I was feeling so happy that, you know, finally I got myself to another section whereby i was able to experience like how you know you can really feel it you know that's like that's not a real person up there that's like a, a prototype but it looks so real but they were trying to tell us this is how it actually feels like when you are up there in space and this guy taking a shower in space this is how they do it in space when they're taking a shower in space this is exactly how they do it and the other guy up there was eating food and working at the same time so they were just trying to show us samples of how the space life really looks like and it was beautiful guys ladies and gentlemen this is where i'm gonna be stopping today i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh i'm gonna bring you guys more next time you know so uh i quickly want to say if you guys haven't subscribed already to the channel take the time to do so when you do subscribe make sure to hit on the bell notification make sure to click on our notification button and uh place your comment below let me know what you think concerning this video and i'll uh, support the channel guys and now uh, you know i'm gonna see you guys in the next one this is cm bevel talking out right now peace